Hello everyone. Today I will be talking about finding the duration of civil twilight and also finding out LAT that is local apparent time of the sun. Uh, this is from the past shipmate navigation paper which came in the month of October in the year 2018. The question is in latitude 50 degrees south when declination option is 20 degree north calculate the following A. LAT of the sunset B. Duration of civil twilight First, let's try to understand what do we understand by LAT. LAT, that is local apparent time. Local apparent time is the westerly hour angle of the true sun measured from the observer's inferior meridian. The question is uh, uh, in 50 degrees south and sun's declination is 10 degree north. So, I have drawn one resonant horizon diagram. This resonant horizon diagram and with short pole. And uh, also, equinoction uh, W, Q, E, I have drawn. And as uh, I have already marked, is north, west, and south, and pole is here. So, in this uh, question, observer, there is observer is at Z, observer is at Z, that is Zulu, and P, Z, Q, N. P, Z, Q, N is observer's meridian, P, Z, Q, N is observer's meridian, and P, S, Papa to Shira, Papa to Shira is observer's inferior meridian so LAT is local apparent time is the westerly hour angle of the true sun measured from observer's inferior meridian so this LAT will be measured from observer's inferior meridian so westerly hour that is a major westerly means westerly measure is with respect to the observer's meridian that is P, Z, Q, N. When measuring westerly, it should go from east to west like this. This is called westerly measurement. It must go from east to west like this. That is why it is called westerly measurement. And LAT means from the inferior meridian. In inferior meridian, it will go like this and up to here. This is for sunset, LAT of the sunset. This pink one is declination circle of the sun. Sun rise here and goes on like this and sunset here. So now let's try to understand this diagram in triangle PZX. PZX, this triangle. Papa Zuru X ray ZX that is ZX is 90 degree ZX this side is 90 degree ZX is 90 degree and the PZ PZ if PZ is called 90 degree minus lead is equal to 40 degree PZ is 40 degree and PX that is polar distance Papa to X ray PX is 90 degree plus 10 degree is equal to 100 because here latitude and declination are of, are of opposite name pole to equinoxial here pole to equinoxial is 90 degree we all know that pole to equinoxial is 90 degree and declination is north so from here we will go further 10 degree so p to x this polar distance is 90 degree plus 10. Pole to equinox is 90 degree and plus declination of 10 degree. This one. So it makes 100 degree. In this triangle, 
pzx zx zx is 90 degree so whenever psi is 90 degree be careful when applying Napier's rule zx here zx is going to 90 degree so uh, this side is 90 degree so we have written angle x here this angle x here then angle z here then 90 degree minus pz 90 degree minus pz and whenever side is 90 degree the angle opposite to it the angle opposite to it that is this side is 90 degree and this angle is opposite to it so we write here p1 minus 90 degree not 90 minus p1 so remember this one many candidates make mistakes here and then they get wrong values and then 90 degree minus px 90 degree minus px here so sine of p1 minus 90 degree sine of p1 minus 90 degree is equal to 10 of 10 of 90 degree minus px into 10 of 90 degree minus pz so sine of p1 minus 90 degree is equal to 10 of 90 minus 100 into 10 of 90 degree minus 40 so we simplify this one and we got p1 p1 minus 90 is equal to minus 12 degree 0 7.8 so this goes on this side and p1 is here and we got p1 is 77 degree 52.8 minute zx that is zx is equal to 90 degrees this angle we have got this angle now in the triangle pjx dash that is papa zulu x-ray dash pjx dash this triangle red one you can see the pointer one pjx dash uh, this red triangle pz as we have already calculated above uh, that is 90 degree minus light is equal to 40 degree that is and here zx dash z x dias z x dias this one that is 90 degree plus 6 why 6 because the question is asking duration of civil twilight so civil twilight is uh, up to 6 degree below the horizon when the sun goes 6 degree below the horizon up to that one is considered as uh, civil twilight that is why six degree bell this entire bell is of six degree so 90 plus 6 96 zx is going to 96 and px dias that is px dias 90 degree plus 10 degree that we have already calculated before all of these things would remain same here also here also from here to here 90, 90 plus 10 degrees go to 100 so here co we cannot ap apply any PS rule here because uh, uh, nothing is 90 degree here so we apply cosine rule here there is in this papa zulu x-ray dust this triangle pz x dias this triangle we apply cosine rule there is cos of p2 cos of p2 is equal to cos of z x dias z x dias minus cos of pz minus of cos of pz in, into cos of px cos of px divided by sine of pz into sine of px sine of pj into sine of px so we put the respective values that is cos of zx is equal to 96 degree minus cos of pj is equal to 40 degree into cos of px is equal to 100 degree divided by sine of 40 degree is equal to sine into sine 40 degree into sine 100 degree on simplification we got p2 is 87 degree 25.2 
so duration of twilight that is duration of twilight is this angle x p x dash this shaded blue portion this shaded blue portion is this angle is the duration of twi twilight so duration of twilight is p2 minus p1 divided by 15 there is this angle this red one minus this one pink one this pink one so you will get this angle and divide by 15 you will get duration of twilight so p2 minus p1 by 15 is going to p2 here we have already calculated 87 degree 25.2 minus p1 is here there is 77 degree 52.2 divided by 15 there is p2 minus p1 we get 9 degree 33 minute divided by 15 is equal to 0 0 hours 38 minute 12 second so duration of twilight is 0 0 hours 38 minute so now for LAT LAT of sunset LAT of sunset now we have already calculated this angle one P1 this here to here is 180 degree so P1 angle of P1 plus 180 degree will get this angle 180 degree plus this angle will get LAT 180 degree divided by 15 plus P1 by 15 is equal to that is 12 hour plus 50, uh, 77 degree 52.2 divided by 15 so we go 12 hour plus 5 hour 11 minute 28 second so LAT of sunset is equal to 17 hour 11 minute 28 second